your Hike Central system could start off very simple, but as it grows by adding more and more devices, more users, and more complexity, it could get quite complex. One thing that we want to make sure is that you always have a restoration point. As you can see, I'm logged in via the web client. And over here, we have a section called maintenance. In this maintenance section, we have different options of how to set up database backup, backup now, and also restore from a database. This database is a snapshot of the entire system configuration. So therefore, if something were to go wrong, we always have a restore point that we can revert to. Let's take a look at each of the three options and what they offer. We'll start off with set database backup. You'll see that first option is how often we want to back up the database. Do we want to do it daily? Do we want to do it weekly or monthly? I'm going to go ahead and choose weekly and now it allows me to choose the day of the week and still the time of day that we want to do that. If I were to choose monthly, it would then allow me to choose the day of the month that I want the database backup to occur and it's still the time at which it should happen during the day. And finally, the original selection, which was daily. So right now the system is set up to back up the database daily at midnight. The save to location is a default location on the server for our database backup, and you're not able to change this. Finally, how many different database backups do we want to save? What's the maximum number that we want to save? In this case, it's set to five, so we'll keep the last five database backups that were accomplished. Once you have this set the way you want it, you can go ahead and click on save. Another option is to back up the database right now. There will be certain times where this particular option will be quite useful. For one, if you're getting ready to make many changes to your system, you're going to add many devices, you're going to add more users, any major changes that you're going to make, it's always a good idea to create a database backup or in essence, a restore point that you go back to. Consequently, after you're done accomplishing all those changes, you might also want to perform a database backup at that point so that you have a restore point prior to an automated restore point being created. So for this option, Backup Now, simply click on OK and the backup process would start. Last but not least would be Database Restore. So here we can see the five databases that currently reside on the server. We can go ahead and choose the one we want to back up to and then click on Restore, bringing the system back to that point in time. Give it a try yourself. It's just that easy.